Let's say you have a chain multiplication problem where you have a long line of numbers to multiply. So let's take our calculator and let's say we want to do 10 times 5 times 9.5 and we'll just start with that. Now our first number is 10 so we don't need to move the slide rule. We're already on 10. So we will go to our second number, 5. 10 times 5, that gives us 50 on the D scale. Now when we want to set up for our next number, we're going to slide the slide rule. We'll get the right index above 5, which was our first answer. We will put in our third number, 9.5. So 50 times 9.5, and that will give us 475. And if we check in our calculator, 475. Let's do another one. 4 times 7 times 3 times 2. We'll take our right index, we'll set it over to 4, then we'll find our second number, 7, and that gives us 28 on the D scale. Now we'll move the left index to that answer, and on the C scale, we'll move over to our next number, which is 3. So 28 times 3, that gives us 84, and we'll slide the index over to 84 to set up for our next number, which is 2. So we will slide the index down to 2, so 84 times 2, that gives us 168. Let's double check. 4 times 7 times 3 times 2, 168.